hello everyone next we will discuss about the next topic is characteristics of dc shunt generator so we have so many types of dc generators in this we will discuss about the dc shunt generator here generally you know that the dc shunt generator is consisting like this this is the armature generally represents with a and a and we have the field f and ff both this armature as well as field connected in shunt manner parallel manner that's why it is called shunt generator so to understand the characteristics we will connect a ammeter series with the load these are the loads we are using 1 2 3 4 four loads we are using and each and every load has the switch the complete load has again we are using a, a switch and to to measure the voltage across the load we are using the voltmeter and to measure the current across the load we are using a ammeter this is the procedure so the characteristics so for example initially we are using some load initially we are using some load and here this is the shunt shunt means this is the field current the important thing is for shunt machines field current is always constant almost always field current will be always constant oh. but what happened when the armature current increases what happened we have to discuss here so here if the first load is operated first load is operated assume some one ampere of current is flowing so it will be closed some one ampere of current is flow when one ampere of current is flowing that means the generated emf if the voltage is 200 for example voltmeter we are getting the 200 and one ampere armature resistance is armature resistance is some for example 10 ohms 10 ohms here the generated emf is 200 plus 10 we are getting the 210 volts simply this is for first load if we are using for the only one load if we are using the two loads two loads for the two loads what happened the generated emf eg equal 200 plus so not this generally generated emf eg is 200 here we want to find out for example this is the 220 220 generated emf is fixed v from this we will get v equal to 220 minus 10 we will get the 210 ohms voltage value is generated emf is assume eg is for 220 volts when we are using the first load it is only 210 volts it is only the 210 volts if you are using the two loads then what happened the generated emf is fixed that value is the 220 and we have some vo we don't know how much of load voltage is developed but we are using the two loads each load having 1 ampere of current so 1 into 1 ampere of current and then this 2 so 2 ampere 2 ampere 2 amperes of current is flowing 2 ampere of current is flowing and we have armature resistance drop is 10 ohms this is armature resistance drop this is the armature current here armature resistance drop is 2 2 loads in it will take the 2 amperes of current so from this we will get 220 minus 20 then will become the 200 so if you observe here the voltage will become 200 if you are using the one load the voltage is the 210 if you are using the two loads the voltage is the 200 that means voltage is dropping when the loads are increases here only when the load current approximately equal to the armature current the reason is the field current is constant field current is constant 
that's why both the currents are equal so if you are increasing the generated emf generated emf that will be will get two types of curve the first curve is this is the dotted line this is the ideal case generally this is the ideal case that means there is no voltage drop across it but if you consider the some armature reaction if you take the armature reaction if you take the armature reaction up to this this line is if you consider the armature reaction generated emf is this this point only so this is if you consider the armature reaction when you consider the armature reaction means if you have to take the armature reactants armature reaction means armature reactants you have to consider not resistance so if you consider the armature drop that means ia and ra drop if you take the ia and ra drop then we will get this value then we will get the this value so finally the generated emf will be not generated emf you can take voltage directly voltage is it is ideally this point but the, the voltage when the load increases the voltage will follow this curve follow this curve if you are not considering a drop the voltage will be like this if you are only considering the armature reaction the curve is like this if you consider the both armature reaction and the uh, drop across the resistance it will be like this okay so if you consider this we can give some note here that note will be useful so here the note is the terminal voltage is nearly constant generally that has been that has some drop but almost constant because we have only less drop therefore the shunt generator can be used as voltage source so that's why we have some applications for this that is the voltage source and battery charging auxiliary power supplies so it is useful in battery charging also and uh, we have auxiliary power supplies and the lighting purpose lighting purpose also we can use the dc shunt generators and as an exciter to excite the field of the synchronous generator so for the field of the synchronous generator synchronous generator have some field so in order to use that we can use this okay these are the different different applications so generally we have some drop here but compare with the drop it, it, it this drop is considerable drop but the important point is when the load is increases we have we should consider small amount of drop but practically this drop is very less this drop is very less okay so this is about the characteristics of the dc shunt generator and its applications next characteristics of series generator how the series generated characteristics will be varied so to dis to discuss this first look at the what is the series generator here name name itself both armature this is the armature terminal and the field are in series series connection so this is the field ff this is the a so both will be in the series and it will generator we can name it as the series generator okay so further we will use some load we will use some load so here at no load condition for example at this condition there is no load the residual magnetism will become also zero at this condition at no load generally this is the very important point the residual magnetism will become zero magnetism will be zero so whenever the residual magnetism will be zero the emf generation is also the zero so that's why if you observe the point if you take the graph eg versus 
armature current and if you observe here the armature current and the field current as well as load current all are in series so all the currents will be the same that's why in x axis are ia equal il equal if all are same so so initial condition eg value zero that's why this point at zero field current eg value will become the zero okay generally the emf in the ideal case the emf versus field current if you increase in the field current the emf will be increases because here generated emf is proportional to field current to generate the field current if you generate the more field current if you increase the more load otherwise there is no possibility okay yeah and this point is eg versus ia eg means so we can write it eg means this this region is armature reaction drop armature reaction drop and this region is this region is we can take it as ira drop armature resistance drop okay this is the armature reaction drop and this is the armature resistance drop so finally this is e versus ia this is eg versus ia eg means without considering the armature reaction this is very important voltage after armature reaction considering the armature reaction here v means by removing the armature ra drop okay so these these are the characteristics regarding the series generator okay yeah generally this series generator is used as the booster applications so what is the booster look at here series generator are used as booster in dc transmission line okay to compensate the voltage drop due to the line resistance generally in the dc lines we have resistance drop is available to avoid turn to in order to eliminate this we are using the dc series generators that's why the voltage profile will be maintained constant okay so this is the thing so that's why we can call it as the booster dc series generator seriously connected it will be used as the booster this complete line will be used as booster so this is the application of the dc series generator so this is about both dc shunt generator and dc series generator characteristics i hope all of you understand the session thank you